is up, Ram fam? Thank you guys all for joining, uh, for tuning in here for the live stream of Black Ram GX Plays Elden Ring. We are going to be draining the swamp today. Um, up to the north, there's a little bit to go, some areas to check out, um, and possibly a castle over there to infiltrate. So we'll do all that great stuff. Um, if you're uh, watching for the first time, I just want to remind you to uh, drop a follow, even if you're watching after the stream. By the way, thank you to all those of you who pop in after the stream here on Facebook and drop a like. Appreciate all of you guys. I see you guys stopping by uh, every day, and you have been for a long time, so I just want to give a shout-out to those of you who don't get here because you're working or something else when I'm live, so you don't get that chance. Same over on YouTube. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for subbing. Um, I know we did get a new sub over there last night. Um... It's just a quick pop-up that happened over the night. So I don't remember the name. I'm sorry. But anyway, you know who you are. Thank you. Uh, appreciate all you guys. So uh, let's get right to it then. So <clears throat> we went north of Stormvale Castle. We kind of cleared out the whole first area that the map revealed. Um, took on the Knight's Cavalry. And now we're at a point where... We pretty much have to move into the rest of the swamp and grab this map. Brian, how are you doing, buddy? What's going on? Cheers. <clears throat> Good to see you. About to uh, go and grab this map right here. I don't know what that was for, but I probably don't need it. I don't think I need that. I think that was to mark as far as I had been so far. You gotta shoot that balloon down. There were some good runes. Good, how's life been? Good to see you also. Ah, oh, thank you. Um, life's been good. Life's been good. Nothing too crazy. Just uh, playing a lot of this, getting my butt kicked sometimes, sometimes doing all right. I feel like this is not gonna go well with those guys right there. How about you? What's new? Oh. Way different than D2. Oh. Hell yeah, it is. Um, and I, yes, I have played Diablo 2. I was playing that. <clears throat> Man. Not too long ago. I think. Maybe November? November I went through and played the uh, remastered. I just got wrecked by arrows. Um, and I thought it was awesome. Uh oh. Is the only RPG you ever played besides Final Fantasy? Ah, fair enough. I played a lot of them. They're a lot of fun. Oh shit, a second shrimp. Um, do you play the new D2? Diablo 2? I thought it was awesome. I was getting ready to play Diablo 3 for the first time after 2. Like, I had 3 for a long time. I just hadn't played it yet. And then something else must have came up. I don't remember what. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, oh, no. Struggle, please. <laughs> no. What have I done to you? Crawfish? I think so. Ow! It, <laughs> some people call them lobsters, but I think it looks more like, yeah. Crawfish, crayfish, whatever you call them. Um, they are terrifying. William, what's happening, buddy? Oh my god. Didn't like part three? Seems more like anime on screen, sort of. Really? I just hadn't given it a shot yet. 
it seemed just like a a graphically better Diablo 2, but you know, I don't know, I'm not as experienced in the Diablo verse. I played the first one, like, back 13 years ago. This guy is just something else. Made me break out me horse. I didn't want to do that. <sighs> Hopefully there's not a lot of them. That's hilarious. I oh shit, another one! Just go, just go! <laughs> Playing some Elden Ring alongside me? Oh hell yeah. They have Diablo 4 in the making supposedly. I have seen the trailers for Diablo 4. As far as like, by the way, what the fuck? I, like a year ago. And it looked just phenomenal. But the thing is, those trailers are insane that they make. Even as far back as like the original trailers for Diablo 2. Holy shit. Those people can put together a trailer. Alright, so now we have... All of Lernia or whatever. Wow, this is a lot bigger than I thought. At least most of it. Maybe there's some more over here that's cut off. I don't know. It looks like someone's missing. So anyway, we've got to <laughs> gotta go through this whole swamp here. I'm thinking first, and then once the swamp is drained, push through the castle, and then do this part last. I don't know. This is a wild place. So, Brian, you you haven't gotten this game yet? Man, you got to. I mean, it's a struggle kind of like Diablo. Because Diablo can definitely be a freaking struggle, if I remember right. Ah! Uh, oh, double shit. Might make a second carry to play solo. Don't know what to use though. Have you? What have you tried so far? Because I've tried a little bit of, not quite all of them, but pretty close. Oh look at that! A telescope, bird's eye. Called bird's eye telescopes. You look through it, and then uh, let's make sure I'm going the right way. And then it shows you a top-down view over the whole area. Pretty wild. God damn it, they're everywhere. They're not worth the amount of experience that they are trouble. Oh, hello. At dumpster wizards galore. Astrologer, you currently? Astrologer is super good, though. It won't get easier than that, but it kind of depends. I don't know. The samurai is really cool because you get that bow right from the start. Pretty quick weapon. Um, bandit, if you really want to challenge. The. What do they call them? Confessor? Confessors are super good. Uh, Vanguard's easy starting out. You don't have to like understand a lot. But I don't know. I think they kind of fall behind after a little bit. I don't know about the warrior. Warrior just looks like you're just hello. brute. Oh, hello. hello. Macro prisoner looks cool. Prisoner looks interesting for sure. And now I'm in a bind. Could I ask you? you know what though? When I was a kid, I was into Star Wars, Wars games. The graphics on this look really. The graphics are insane on this because I tried playing some of their older games that these people released, and they don't look nearly as good. But uh, I played a lot of Star Wars games when I was a kid. 
Still some here and there, but not as many. Oh, what a blessing that we fog should be resting at an abandoned leaves. She's missing her necklace. Alright, let's see. So I'm like directly below this. I think those ruins I've been to, I think they have like the warp gate to the city. Oh, what's up there? Yeah, there's definitely a map missing because I don't see that earth tree or that building. It's not an Activision, uh, Activision. I think Activision does own the studio. Um, I'd have to look into it. But it's not Xbox only. You know, yet. Maybe their future games will be. Everything does so much more damage than it used to. Okay. I just got my ass handed to me. I have killed dozens of these fucking things easily. It's little tentacles. You can just chop them off. And then it's just uh, injured and worthless. Not quite, but pretty close. I swear I hit that tentacle a bunch of times. Holy crap, that's a monster. I can't remember what they're called, like crab octopus or something. Oh, I've got a ways to go to get back there. Alrighty. So interesting enough that there is another chunk of the map here. Further east. Uh oh. Mr. Crayfish. It's not me. I wonder if I already have that lady's necklace, actually. I should maybe go back to her and just talk to her twice. Thing is, there's no way to track these quests and remember what you've done, so. Get your sword up in his old gizzard there. Not too bad, but oh, those tentacles aren't coming off. You get a reward for killing them. For everything you kill, uh, in the lower right there, you'll see my runes. Um, so you get an amount, whatever that enemy's worth. Um, and then sometimes they drop stuff, so those ones dropped. I don't know what it was. Eggs or something? Wait. Abandoned home down the way? What's down the way mean? What's. There's no down the way from here? You mean the ruins? I don't know what she's talking about. Just go to these locations. Yeah, so um, it's nice. Everything you kill definitely helps you out. And the runes you get go towards leveling up and increasing your stats so you can use better equipment or just having more health or whatever. Um, oh, thank God. This was right here the whole time. These Lost Grace sites are basically where you will respawn or where you can jump around to. It, it's Quick travel. 
how you can do a lot of stuff. Oh, this guy. This guy's a dick. He's attacked me several times. That way it points everywhere. Yeah, what is she talking about? Uh, but your runes you can use to buy things, to sell things. Oh, well, you get more for selling things. Um, there's just so much you can do with them. I don't think there's anything I really want here. I mean, I kind of want some of this stuff, but... Nah. Actually... Someone wants to ring an ear? Oh, ring a bell? Ring an ear. That must be the academy. So that guy, he was like a bandit. I killed half, of, took half his health, and then let him live. Now he sells me stuff, but sometimes he still screws me over. Oh, actually, I should probably stop here so I can level up quick. My prisoner looks evil. What did you do to him? So you got all these different stats. I'm working on intelligence at the moment because uh, my guy's a samurai. I got a special, special uh, katana because of Moon Veil. And I can't quite use it to its best abilities here until I have 23 intelligence. So just working on that. I'll go back to working on something else. Is there multiplayer? Yeah, there is actually. You can play up to three people together just doing bosses or wandering around and just clearing everything. Um, so it's really interesting. However, if you do do multiplayer, there is a significantly increased chance that uh, you'll be invaded. So if you got a friend with you, there's a high chance that somebody will come in and try to kill you and just take you out because they get a little reward for it. So there's a little ying to that yang there. Basically all red looks like the devil. Yeah, that's alright. I forgot how to activate these. So these things, I don't know how I did it. I did it one time. And like a little guy will come out, you follow his trail. And uh, he'll take you to like a cave or something. Try night. Okay, well maybe we'll just do that quick. There's PVP, absolutely, you can, um, Summon straight up somebody else to a duel. Take each other on one-on-one, -on -one, just wherever you're at. Uh, there's little... Statues around. Uh, that you would use to... Open up co-op play in an area. So when you activate that statue, you can be invaded or friends can come in at any time. Um, it can be random people, or if you put on a password, only friends will show up. So, it's really interesting. There's a lot of events based on the time of day, too. Things that, um, a lot of it's just random chance that you would ever see. But, like, you can see all those little white stripes on the ground that had messages. Those are all left by other players. There's some that the game puts in there in case you're offline. But, uh, for the most part. These are all clues left behind by people, and sometimes they're just total bullshit. Like, 
like this says try night, but nothing's happened. Try look carefully and then cave ahead. And he points straight down. That's not useful. Got 185 appraisals, so you think it's legit. It definitely makes it more interesting. I, uh, I've been trying to do most of this on my own. Because that's just a lot of fun. Uh, being able to conquer this game solo. If you have somebody else with you, it makes the game hella easy. What the fuck? You been playing Madden? Nice. I played a little on Saturday. You doing multiplayer? Or are you doing Dynasty? What you doing? Tried being the starting boss? Not some real skill for it? Uh, I've seen the people that do it. And all of them just memorize his pattern. He's got a very easy to learn pattern. The problem is, is that <laughs> you don't get a lot of chances to fight him. So it kind of sucks ass. I want a sword and a shield, though, and that's what you get if you beat him. Oh, God, these guys. Oh, a bunch of fire wizards! Bunch of no good, dirty, rotten fire wizards. Ugh. Multiplayer, you do uh, my ultimate team because every. Oh, you can't do it? Yeah, exactly. My ultimate team is really pay to win because somebody has 99 everything in day one because they can pay for it. So I've never bothered with it. I just really hope that it would go away. Oh boy. I'm not in Kansas anymore. I have a career character and do online head to head games. Nice. Yeah, I mostly do head to head um, when I'm playing too. Uh, I did uh, one head to head game, and then I had a buddy who challenged me, so I got. Uh, I got into playing a few games against him on Saturday. It was pretty fun. Uh, at first, when I was just playing random people, I was using the Rams. I find the Rams are super fun to play as. And I don't generally pick teams that aren't my own. I don't like to play as uh, teams that aren't mine. But at the same time, everyone else is going to just keep using these high-level overall teams. And it's just such a pain in the ass to try to beat them. I didn't want to deal with it, so... I got tired of being my team and getting stomped on by... Anyone who picks the Chiefs, the Ravens, etc. Thing is, all those teams are definitely beatable. You can beat all of them pretty easily, unless you find someone who's actually good, and then also is using a super team. Then you have no chance. Okay. So it looks like I pretty much cleared all this. We'll just go around this swamp. Kansas City, but my team's Denver. They just suck. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, my team's the Bears, and they're fun to use. Don't get me wrong, but they just make mistakes. I just don't get this. We'll just mark this on the map. Figure it out later. You know, it's fun having uh, Justin Fields, being able to maneuver and get around people, but... Uh, 
the receiver game a little lacking. It was not terrible for the Bears. Uh, I think the biggest problem... I don't know. They have a pretty decent defense, too. They just give up dumb plays or people just don't catch balls. I mean, just the dumbest stuff happens that makes you really mad. Things that shouldn't happen, but it's Madden. So if a team has a low overall, it's going to happen every time. Uh, but, you know what? Denver will be fun next year. Follow Eagles just because I love It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. That is a good reason. I love It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, too. Fantastic show. Um, I just discovered that they have a podcast on YouTube. Or not YouTube, Spotify, sorry. And they just talk about the episodes and everything they went through with that. But mostly they just ramble on about whatever. I think this is where I just was with the crayfish. This is such a big area to try to cover somehow. What was crabs doing? Cavern of the Crystal Crabs. Yep, 8 out of 10. Passed in my hands, but dropped... The Bill Murray Spotify cast. I didn't know Bill Murray had a podcast. I bet you that is good. Oh, I'm fucked. Killed each other? No! It's a draw. Hate it. I think it's Bill. Sounds right. I mean, Bill Murray is a person. Do I go pure evil and kill every NPC on this character? I'd as well. Why not? I don't know what the positives to negatives are of that. Wow, it looks real weird at daytime. Um, that sounds funny. I did kill... There's a witch who's tied up in the Weeping Peninsula. And I tried talking to her and nothing happened, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna help her. I'm gonna free her. I'll just slice these <laughs> bindings off. Use, like, some crystal bindings or whatever. Well, then she got a little angry and got all upset that I was... Maybe not being too careful, I accidentally hit her a few times with my katana. So I ended up just killing her. But, you know, I regretted it dearly. Okay, that's the one I thought it was. Um... Bill Burr! I... I figure, uh... That his is pretty good, too. I really like the comedy ones, because I don't have to focus that hard. If I'm ever at work. Um... And I want to listen to a podcast. Instead of just listening to music. Because I don't really have Wi-Fi, so I can't just listen to random stuff all the time. So I just download it all. And listen to whatever I got. Oh. 
Are we are we fighting? Are we friends? Oh. This guy reeks of not to be fucked with. Oh, it's like a small market. Like a blood weapon market. Oh. <laughs> He's a funny guy. I like him. He's just so loud. <laughs> I think that's probably what I like the most. Is his uh, loud demeanor. Doesn't really give a shit either. He, for the most part, tells it like it is. Sometimes it's just ranting to rant, <laughs> I think. And it's really funny. I like those long rants that go to nowhere, and by the end they're like, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've seen Bill Burr do that a few times. William, is there any... Do you know, is there any big pluses to killing NPCs. Anyway, that witch, as I was saying, I got sidetracked so easily. Um, killed her, came back, she was there again later and, like, breathing. I don't know, I guess she don't die. Hey, Brian, while you're here, do me a favor, though. Uh, if you want to drop a like, that would be awesome. See, so, yeah, I have two. So, I'm going to guess William did... I don't know. Cheers. Do that all the time, too. Hey, my man. Cheers. Thank you very much. Huh. Doesn't seem to, like, really be a lot out here. I think the separate quest for good and evil characters? Really? Huh, how about that? There's a quest to kill all the merchants for the two things in the round table hold? That's funny. No, please! It's so easy. So easy to just get walloped by those things. They're just freakish. The way they start stabbing with all four of their arms in a crazy speed rotation. I dislike those things. They had whirlwind. No kidding. There's the one with the bow. It has two bows in two of its four arms. And it's pulling arrows so fast because the other two are just constantly pulling and shooting that you get pulverized by that thing. Uh, the ones with the knives are terrible because you just saw what happened. And there's one that carries like two spears. It's bullshit. I see a lot of people have died there. Uh, if you see the little blood stains on the ground like these, Brian, you can see how somebody else died. So these are just all the other players. So they've got a lot of interconnectivity between you and all the uh, other players out there. You know, really, whether you want to or not, as long as you're online. You know, even playing solo like I am, at any point, I could get invaded. Um, it just doesn't really happen. At least that's what other people told me. I haven't been invaded by anything but uh, NPCs. NPCs can invade you. But 
I'm kind of just creating a little marker barricade of where I've been. There's a map somewhere in here. What the fuck? It's a little bug. Dead little bug. The monsters in here look awesome. Oh, dude, I love the art style of the things in this game. Um, the artists eh, from software who have made Dark Souls and... Oh, here's one of the spear guys. Please, please! I can't do anything once they start hitting. And you could hear, I hit it a few times, there's like that ding noise. It doesn't resonate with me to get the fuck away when you hear that noise because they're about to do their spasm attack. Spaz the fuck out and then uh, you can't, you can't stop them. Just take your man for them, yeah, over and over and over again. It's terrible. What do you mean invade? So, they reference the multiplayer aspect of the game in the game. As there basically being many universes. Uh, and that sometimes they'll cross over. Okay, Dark Souls definitely says that. Um, I don't know if they say that specifically in this game. But, uh... What happens is they are like a red furl fingers. I don't know. They have a weird term for it. But anyway, they uh, come in and they just try to kill you. In private online game? Uh, I don't think there's anything, su uh, any such thing as private. I think it is. You're just playing online or you don't? That area is way up there, huh? So every time you die, you lose all your runes. That's what that little yellow bit I was getting back is. So that's all your money, everything you've earned. And if you die a second time and you haven't gotten it back, it's gone. You've lost it all permanently. No going back. So, you really don't want to let that happen. Okay. People are falling from the top. There's got to be a ladder up, right? And that little white spirit is just me seeing another player who happened to be walking by doing something similar. Invasions are PvP, basically. Yep, yeah. Couldn't have said it better myself. Do they take property like a village or just kill you? Uh, I'm pretty sure they just kill you. I haven't lost to one yet. Um, but I think they just kill you. Your runes are dropped. If you had a friend with you, your friend gets sent back home. You've got to go through the trouble of summoning them again. So, do you get much for invading somebody? I haven't actually invaded somebody personally. I do know... Oh, that's a lot of bloodstains. Why is there so many bloodstains? Okay, I was scared. Memory stone. Nice, nice. I can't really use it, but nice. I get invaded kind of uh, while I'm trying to be the invader. 
I've never taken the time. Like, I think you have nothing to lose as the invader. Like, you die, you just get sent home. If you're if it's like your server, your homeroom, world, blah blah blah. Like I'm in right now. Someone came and invaded me. I think I'd lose my runes, and I have to go back and collect them. But no big deal. There's like a there's an item you get if you kill people as the invader. I don't know. I don't know if you get much for being invaded and getting the kill, because I haven't done that since day one. They literally have an area over yonder. Where is it? Right here. It's basically an arena. They give you an uh, item there so you can start invading people. It's the only thing there is there. There's really nothing else, but check it out. Someone said that they were really good about dealing with cheaters in this game, too. Because I remember in old games, uh, Dark Souls and whatnot, when they had invasions, uh, there's people who would come in that couldn't take damage. So you'd have to get creative if you wanted to beat him and banish him from your world. You'd have to, uh... Jesse, thank you very much for the like. Cheers, how you doing? You'd have to try to lure him to an edge and push him off or something. Fall damage will kill him. And it's hard again. Oh. Which one's that? Still get that now? It is. Oh! Shenanigans. Oh! I think I locked onto a squirrel. No, leave my Ash Warrior alone! I saw him burst through, I was like, this ain't gonna be good. Oh, shit. Close one, close one, close one. I lost my uh, backup though. Caves are in uh, Luminaria. Found any? I found a few. Nothing crazy. All pretty easy so far.
what's up? Hallelujah, Halibut. What's going on, Uncanny? How you doing, buddy? Thank you for the like. I'm out here playing Trixies on this guy. Uh-oh. I made a mistake. Oh, 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 oh! That was close. I don't really have a lot of arrows. I did not come prepared for this. Today's screenshot. Cerulean crystal tear. Eyes. And a ruptured crystal tear. Let's craft some arrows. Poison arrows for now instead of those. What was the Earth Tree boss there? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was um, the Sentinel Guardian or whatever. Not Sentinel Guardian, what am I saying? I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about, the big tree guy. There's a whole big area along here. Like, why is this skinny strip along the side missing from the map? Nope, there's a cave. We need to make it up there, though. One more screenshot, why not? Uh, what caves have I done, though? Um, actually, I don't know if I've done any caves in the swamps. I've done some out here along the sides. Like side crystal cave. I'm sure I'm missing a lot. Like you literally have to just run along the wall and hope you don't miss them. Flee from me. So you can't tell. I thought that might have been a cave in there. I thought that's what the wizard was pointing at. I gotta say the thing that's the most annoying is when you get hit once by these damn things. They just keep fucking wailing on you. Excuse me, ma'am. If you could show me the way to this secret, secret cave. Y'all could kindly fuck off. 
No, it got away! Now you got to die. <sighs> Not happy about that. Those little roly bugs. If you don't know, they'll give you special abilities. These bats are a fucking nuisance. To be fair, some of them don't give you abilities. Some give you nothing. Some explode and hurt you. Here's another cave. Cheers. Beat the Erd Tree Avatar. You just beat one? Already? I think it's the third one I beat. Let's see what they have to say. Ah. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Look where that got him. That's weirdly simple. Whoa! Look at that, a hint that was real. was a hidden door. First time I found one of these. Rune arc. Root resin. What the fuck? Oh, hello. Spirit Caller Snail. Where's the snail? Gotcha, bitch! Oh, shit. Give me a second to heal you, would ya? Through the column! Please, sir, I, I only asked for a fair fight. I ran out of stamina.
Okay, come here, you fucking snail. Not this time! Oh, son of a bitch, I can't do this again! No! No! Oh no, it's actually a crucible night. Can't beat the Crucible Knight. <sighs> you just got ate by a dragon? They can straight up beat you? So if I use a sacrificial twig, I can get my runes out if I need it. I hate getting hit when you're on the ground. Seems like poise is everything. If you can get good poise, you never get knocked on your ass. They can never get a free shot to just kill you. I mean, getting knocked down to the ground is a death sentence. Tyler, thank you for the like. I didn't even see that shit. What was going on today? Cheers. I don't know if I cheers them, can't either. Cheers. That's really unfortunate he ruined that for me. Why did I get no hits in?
a freebie on that one. Not on that one. I think that would have ended me. Free health! Yeet yeet! Alright, where's it gonna spawn? One hit? This is a crime. An absolute crime. Why? <laughs> Why is it gone so fast? It's not always in that corner either. If I go to that corner, it's in the other corner. Ah, it must... It takes a second to spawn, or at least for you to find it. Wherever it is, 360 degrees around you. Hmm. I tried to dodge. I feel like that was well timed. Call him bullshit. No. As soon as that wind up started, I wasn't ready. I heard it and I'm like, oh fuck me. I just wanted to create distance so he doesn't do his little stab maneuver that he can use to reach you from across the court there. God damn it. If I get in a rhythm, these guys can't touch me. But, they get one hit off. Alright. Time to raise up the damage. comes the hit. Oh. Oh, that was fortunate. Okay, you're gonna be here. Half its health, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my god. I tried to I tried to lock on. All it did was pull me away. Because if you try to lock on and there's somebody not immediately on the screen. Uh it changes the screen's perspective.
like that. That camera adjustment's gonna get me killed. Yes! Yes! Get the fuck out of here! No! No! I, I don't want to fight him again. Oh my god. That was terrifying. It's only worth like 3,000 souls? That blows my mind. Well, it costs a lot to summon this one. Fuckbird. A lot of secrets around here, huh? Hmm. Oh. I guess there's something right behind above that's become quite the uh, popular way to hide. My god, this thing backing off after every hit. It's as bad as me. I just not trust that there's not more of them. Rhea Lucarian soldiers. Let's try them. How much different can they be? Probably not any better. Is the 
cave of illusions, huh? Oh my god. Too easy. I'm curious how you, one gets to this castle. It must be like some teleporter somewhere. Don't see no Revenger around, so that's good. So pretty much check out this little cluster here, and we start heading back. What are these flying things, though? Are they the scuttlebug things? Like what's up here? It wasn't real. Getting old. I'm glad I had that idea because I really didn't know what I was going to do.
don't know if this is getting me anywhere. Maybe I'll see what happens when I kill them all. Ow! That dragon? Why I haven't dueled a dragon in a fortnight? Oh shit, he's actually sleeping. Um, and he's not even waking up. I was kidding. I did beat one dragon once in the first lake. Um, it wasn't too bad. Alright, nothing special for taking them all out. Maybe just refreshers for a dragon? I don't, I don't know. Excuse me? Um, M. Sorcerer? Let's go! Marag. All right, I am not shit to this thing. That was not the right call. Damage I did was so minuscule. Here's what I'm thinking. Let me come back. Let me come back. I have a whole level's worth of souls, runes. I don't want to lose. And there's this right here that I didn't know was right here. You can barely see it. Looks like there's another one right over there. Or maybe it's just... I don't know. <laughs> Wounds needed 2,000? Well, I'm not as close as I thought. Um, but anyway, give me one minute. I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'll be right back just one minute. Alright, I'm back. I don't know if I should just try to... Yeah, you know what, I got some runes. We're gonna level up here quick and then we'll take on the dragon. Hoping not to get eaten. Oops, I don't want to equip. Just inventory... That ought about do it. Getting closer. Four more levels. Honestly, I'm just going to see if I can burn all that stuff here. I don't know what this does. I should probably read the description first. I thought it was just like a lot of runes.
it is a lot of runes. Okay. Probably should have just kept using them. Yeah, I'll use everything else first. I've been collecting these all game long. I, this is the first time I've really used them. I've used some of the smaller ones, but none of the bigger ones. Give them quite the hefty amount here. Nice. Maybe this will get me to where I need to be for the Moon Veil. Right where I needed to be. Perfect. Not holding on to too many runes either. I'm gonna get out and do this on foot. I don't know. Maybe that's a bad plan. Knights! Let's see how good they are. Just two small guys and a big swordsman. Holy shit, 500 stars? What's going on, buddy? Thank you very much. Sup, how are you doing? Fuck yeah. You know, if you want, with that 500 stars, you can uh, make me change my voice if you want to. You do high, low. Oh, fuck nuggets. It's called hip uh, auto tune Academy Glintstone Key. Nice. You good? Okay. <laughs> the voices seem to be popular early on. Not as much anymore. Okay, it was a fun experiment. Oh, my horse. I just got to where I can use the moon veil. That's exciting. I really hope this rock protects me. Pain and an ass drag in there. No kidding. Um, I started to mess with him a little bit, and I was like, I'm not doing a lot of damage. I should back up. 
And then I just burned all the runes that I've been saving up. Um, which was enough to get me to using the Moon Veil finally. And so I'm trying that shit on him right now. It's not exactly doing higher damage. I think it's pretty cool. You're better in a party? Nice, nice. You guys working on something specific or? Holy fucking shit. Better known as HFS. he does these stomps, I'm fine. Oh. As I take damage. me I got him so far down <sighs> see it wasn't bad when the horse can take a lot of the abuse um, as soon as I was horseless out there in the middle of nowhere no cover uh, it's pretty much fucked it seems like if you have cover you can survive a lot of his stuff so close yet so far away Dude, I figured. I was like, there's no way I beat this the first try, right? Because <laughs> never beat anything the first try. And sometimes there's a phase two and... That's how you play the game. looking too good. No. No. You don't think you killed the dragon yet? If that helps. It does make me feel better. Oh. Yes, 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 please. Whatever it takes, give me my steed. Oh my god, this is unavoidable. He can turn faster than I can escape, and the range is insane.
This wing just snatched me up. I think I might just stay back and see if he comes after me. I, I don't know. Jeez. If we fight at this rock, I can always just hide at this rock when he wants to flame everything. What are you doing? Where are you going? Oh, shoot. I don't like how much distance there is. There's that distance. You can kind of dodge these gigantic freaking soul arrows but if he does this too and he stops and then he flame breaths so you fart oh, see that's what I'm talking about that's why Gator don't play that shit Look at that, that almost reaches here. He is so far away. Why don't you keep working on getting closer? I'm right here. Controller batteries are low. Wow, couldn't be a worse message to pop up right now. About to say, so how dead am I? Oh no.
I mean, I was doing so much damage so long for such a good amount. And then he just starts flying up in the air all the time. You can't get a hold of him. Cause concoction to explode? That doesn't sound good for me. Well, maybe we'll come back and beat him later. Let's check out this area. That dragon is insane. Well, that did more damage than I thought it was going to. Biscuits. It's like, who's showing that Clintstone? But now, now I get it. Fuck with the bell beaming hunter and Caleb. Oh, bell bearing. What did I say, beaming? I haven't found him yet. I'm scared of Caleb. Um, everything is ginormous there. There's T Rex crows, T Rex dogs. I found two dragons just trying to pick up the map pieces. I killed all four. There's four of them? Got him locked in. your monk over here.
Those are some good moves. To be fair, though, you should see Mike's build. He's got the boss killer spell and all that good stuff. So there's probably not much Mike couldn't kill. You ever seen the videos where someone hits a boss with one spell and it just keeps t taking huge chunks of their damage until they're dead? Yeah, I got to see it. Which one? The main one, the beam. True, which one is a pretty accurate statement? <laughs> oh my god. So have you beat the game? I probably have asked that already. And this is like a second playthrough or something? I like how there's always a message in here. Ice rind hatchet. That looks interesting. You're level 557 unless you somehow got some kind of crazy uh, exploit you're using that doesn't even make sense that you could be 557 you were 300 like four days ago Mike now you're helping other more than myself and clearing the map oh okay others um, so you're just traveling around because it's basically a freebie. It's still on Lernia? Yeah. All the way down here, though. I'm gonna see what some of this stuff is right here along here. I'm right back to there, and that means pretty much the southern half of the swamp I've covered. plants and these guys everywhere big bunch of pains in the bunghole Jimmy Christmas it's not killing you Mike that you haven't beaten the game yet you're like a higher level than most people will ever reach in this game already. <laughs> and uh, it can't be hard for you at this point. Probably be a walk in the park. Whoa! God damn, I didn't see that coming. Trying to hop off my horse, I really am. Oh! Oh, thank God, I thought I was too late on that. What I probably should do is upgrade the moon veil.
Sorry, I've been quiet. Was concentrating on watching a film now. Oh, no problem. You gave up for right now? Oh, no, 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 no. I feel like that didn't hurt as much as it should have. Oh. God bless America. Oh, so close. It's got me down on the ground and just... Boom! Nothing I can do when I'm on the ground. You're so... so like, sometimes you just quit up so fast. And that time I was so slow. Oh, my controller died. No wonder. <laughs> no wonder I wasn't getting up too fast. Classic. Cross platform or not? Um, I don't think it is. Um, and somebody else came in here and said it wasn't, so they're probably right. What movie you put on? Or is it actually film when you have like a projector in your house? So that's kind of badass. Not like a new projector. Hey, KO, thank you very much for the light. Really getting tricksy here. Try not to die and get all these. Hold on, I'll choose you in a second. Project Power on Netflix? Hmm. I haven't heard of that one. What's that about? Is it good? Ever seen it yourself? Seems interesting. I'll see. Is it like a documentary? Kinda sounds like one. Sam, what's happening? Thank you for the like. Appreciate you. Oh, the shares. Jeez, jeez. Oh, that's it. I've got an empty one around here somewhere. Alright, well, I'm getting murked. Got the cap off at least. Oh, come on.
There we go. There we go. These pills uh, give people superpowers, but it's a lucky dip they die if they get a bad power. Oh. Interesting. Interesting concept. So it's like a series. What? Where did the bear go? There's some kind of guardian angel here. Didn't get any experience for that, and I, I wasted a lot of resources on that fight. Looking real unfortunate. <sighs> anyway, uh, cheers to Sam. Cheers to uh, Kayla. Thank you, guys. Ooh, the Academy. Oh, okay. Let's get up there. Just a movie make it would make a great show. I think it would be. It's a problem with movies. I like movies. But they're generally just so short. And like HBO and Hulu and Netflix have shown you what you can do with a good movie concept over the course of a whole show. Because two hours is just nothing. In comparison to, I don't know, a ten one hour episode seasons. Oh. All right, let's see where it goes. <sighs> if it ain't endgame, it ain't long enough. That's probably true. Should probably mark these gates. This is exactly what I was looking for. All the way up here now. There's another big fort. I'm honestly scared to be here. I just want to find a grace and uh, dip, but I'm curious. But it's so far away from where I'm starting. Oh no. If I have a summon sign, that doesn't mean anything good, right? Oh. It's an ambush, it is. You're on where I'm now. Got level 65 and hopped off. Going to get to 75 tomorrow, maybe even 80. Ooh, big aspirations. Oh. I've got a lot of, a lot of this area to go through. Rimmed crystal buds. Hate. Illusionary wall. Man, he's really trying to escape on me again? Trixie, Trixie Hobbit. Is that a giant reading a book?
I have a helmet. Visitors. I presume you are tarnished. What brings you here? Speak to him. Way ahead of you, my friend. Way ahead. Yes, I am E.G. A blacksmith, an old codger who refuses to retire and enter the soul. Here I am. Still quietly. Perhaps you like a display. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Three somber. Wow, I can't believe I ran out of those so fast. Wow, you can go pretty far with this thing, with this guy. Okay. Well, fuck yeah. And he's got unlimited. Oh, there's different sizes of somber stones. Okay. Nice. Well, that is awesome since that's exactly what I was looking for when I came here. Oh, huh. he's an interesting guy. There's a quest one when you find another character. Ooh, okay. Probably like. Hey, that guy needs to die. Go kill him. Well, he's the first smart one I found, so no. Wow, I kicked such higher levels of ass now. That's awesome. Game requires so many runes. I know. I don't feel like you get that high of a mount from your average fights either. It really is a friggin' grind, but that's alright. So I want to go through all this yet, so I'll just go back. Go back. Go back here. We're going to go back there and then uh, keep running through that swamp. You think I could beat that dragon now? <laughs> ah, let's try it. I mean, I'm quite a bit beefier. William, thank you for the like, buddy. I didn't even realize you did. I mean, somebody else snuck in one right away in the beginning. start to lurch like that, it's imperative that you don't get off your horse. Oh. Um, anyway, when he starts to lurch like that, just get as close to him as possible. work that time never shows up usually so it'll only show up if it's um actually a like if it's any other kind of reaction i'll see it eventually but it doesn't quite show up on the stream 
to, you know, uh, care, heart, ha ha, angry, sad, all those things, they won't show up, only likes. For whatever reason, I don't know why I didn't design the program, but... Hey sir, it's me. Spanish Knight Bill Engvall. Do you think I should have been burnt there? Me too. Ugh. Oh, I've almost got him. And I'm not even using my higher damage sword. Gotta love the blood loss. Oh. It does literally work nightmare. Ah, uh, nightmare. <laughs> Not nightmares. Nightmares for him. Um, just absolute wonders for you. I'm gonna get the sum bitch. Oh shit. You can tell he got nervous. Woo! See you later. Dragonheart and just an ass ton of runes. That's awesome. Pretty close to 14k. <laughs> Woo! We got him again. All right. That felt good. Still gotta kill him yourself. He was a pain. He was a pain. Um, but you know what? That little rock I was using, that slanted rock there, highly recommend just using the shit out of that to your advantage. Make the fight stay there. Because when he does his uh, arcane breath, just jump into one side or the other of that real quick in a pinch. Seems to mean the world to this whole, whole fight. Um, other than that, he's not too bad. It seems like most of the dragons... The key is just to stay between the legs. I can see I just came from. I can't check my map. It is, okay. And I've been here. Blood Flame Blade. Mm. Sounds gnarly. Killed the biggest dragon, but you can uh, do that one without without waking him. Oh. Impressive. You can kill a whole dragon without waking him?
Must be some trick that I'm not aware of and probably not gonna try when I first show up. Probably walk up and try to fight him right away. Should probably stay. I ran out of most of my stuff. So I wonder what the limit is that that guy uh, can upgrade your weapons to, if there even is one. I'm sure there has to be one. You could just get so insanely overpowered on your weapons alone. I've already been to this one. As long as you don't get close, it's way too. Um, it's a way to cheese it for easy runes. I'll fight him proper um, one playthrough. <laughs> you say that, but it sounds so easy. So you want to take advantage? I don't blame you. You know, um, I think it was Dark Souls 2. There was the Elder Dragon. Maybe it was the first one. I don't quite remember. <clears throat> and he would just whoop so much ass. He was a, like a good guy. You didn't have to fight him. But if you chose to fight him, oh. You're in for some shit you didn't bargain for. What's up? Beat the game yet? I'm pretty close. I'm pretty close. Not really. I've only beat one lord, but... I've cleared a lot of stuff. Good to see you back, Brian. How you doing? Where'd you go? I suppose I've got to get through a lot of this scribble bits here. Maybe clear some of this. Like get 500 for them. I mean, he did go down like a sack of apples, but I think that's what this dragon is called. Really? I noticed that they, not necessarily repeating, but they have a lot of very similar stuff from game to game. These fucking polywirls got moves. I just want to explore and make sure I don't miss any like crucial items. Or items. Crucial or not. So much stuff. Oh. Was in the background dozing off. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. No, that happens. What did the crawdad ever do to you? Oh, uh... Well, it tasted good. Which is a crime punishable by boiling. You can't just... Taste delicious and expect. Oh. Is that your brother? Woo! 
<laughs> he eats a lot of melted butter. That's what makes him good, right? Uh. Okay. How did it end up down here? That must have been where the map was. I don't know how to keep getting turned around. Size would feed the whole family. Not just the family, but the village. The extended family and their extended families. Shit. Who needs some, uh, crawdad? Craw pops. I can see if, like, if you could do, like, a helmet or some armor with the crawdad. I'm just saying, it would be really funny. And then you get a bunch of armor and weapons made from the crawdads. You name your character Crawdaddy. You invade a world, you see Crawdaddy's coming in. And... He's wearing that kind of stuff. You. you know you're in for it. It's me, Dialos. Answer me, would you? Hello, friend. She looks Tell quite dead. You know, would you? The whereabouts of the hidden house. Genetically engineered crawfish. Feels like it. The who hunt their fellow tarnished. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya, and I refuse to let the insult stand. The tale of House Hoslo is told in the Oh, is this the guy from the round table? Dialos. Swear to deliver the message. They laid hands upon my servant Lanya. The tale of house I deal. How many fucking churches were in this town? Asking for a friend. God, they're coming in on all sides. Alright, Sir Knight, don't leave my side, for I am still scared. Make some humongous shrimp, too. While you're at it, just, uh, do that. Maybe a giant chicken, uh, maybe a big ol' steak. We don't need the giant cow, just the steak. Coming right up. Anything else with your giant shrimp? Oh, sorry, humongous. <laughs> Jeepers criminies. Well, oh, Jeeper, misters? That kind of hurt.
Please, give me a chance, please, please. Yeah, yeah, trick, yeah. I know that was there for like two days now. Been trying to get back to it. Ryan, would you like a giant chocolate milk with your order? Back, I'm back to the giant uh, food waiter service joke that died two minutes ago. I don't know why I thought chocolate milk just sounded good. Probably not with the uh, humongous shrimp though, huh? Got another one. He's a crafty boy, he is. Gotta wash the seafood down, right? With something. Huh. Personally, a big fan of. Um, bourbon with fish. Bourbon and fish go good together. Must be 21 to ride, but that's all right. Yep. Okay, so this is the pathway. <clears throat> yeah, I don't really drink much. That's fair. Then a cool glass of water. Personally, if I'm, I'm at home, like I drink almost every meal with water or milk. Milk's just delicious, first of all. Whole milk, none of that skim shit. When I was a little kid, the first time I heard someone say skim milk, I thought they were trying to say skin milk. And I'm like, what is this person's skin falling off? Why are they drinking that? Is this like a medical condition thing? Kind of, but not really. doing what's back here you think oh flower just a singular flower oh what's that bell oh it's one of those daddies I'll mark it. So you're supposed to be able to just examine it. Okay. That's what I thought. So he takes you on a long path to likely a cave. Kim Milk is nasty, couldn't agree more. Levon, thank you very much for the like. Cheers. Appreciate you. How you doing? 
Brian, your go-to is coffee or soda, but I'll drink water throughout the day. I generally drink a large amount of water throughout the day. Um, try not to drink too much soda. I've been was really good about it for a long time. Been pretty bad lately, but doing better. Doing better. <clears throat> During the week, I don't drink a lot. On the weekend, uh, sometimes my soda intake goes way too high. Coffee, I only drink that a couple days a week, whenever I'm working from home. supposed to set the... What do they want me to do here? Yeah, whatever. The coffee doesn't always agree with me too well, but it could be... Creamer doesn't agree? I don't know. Now I'm going into a cave. I still got a little chunk of this yet to explore. And then we're gonna go up. Maybe I should do. I did not mean to press that button. Well, if I die, the elevator's already up there, so that's good. They shouldn't even sell soda. It's so addictive. Hey, this is the person's name that was said earlier. Also, it's kind of a cool outfit. I think it is addictive for a lot of people. Um... Personally, I don't think it's that bad. Like, for me, once I stopped drinking soda once for a little bit, I was like, oh my god. Uh, a, don't need it. And B, after you quit it for a while and come back, it just tastes so syrupy and gross that it's not that good. It's easy to get hooked back onto it, don't get me wrong. But there's a, definitely a period where you don't even really want it that bad. At least I had that. Um, but, like, if you have a little bourbon on the weekend, you need something to mix it with. And I guess that's that's the failure right there. I needed, uh... Maybe I need to mix with water? That sounds gross. I'm not gonna do that. There are people that do, though. I don't get it. They should sell water that much? Yeah, I know what you mean. They do sell a shit ton of water. I remember hearing the story about the oh, guy who came up with bottled water. Literally got laughed at because it sounds like such a dumb idea when everybody has access to water. And then it just made a ridiculous amount of money. Everyone always has bottled water pretty much. Oh, I see the boss down there. Well, I can't actually see him, but I see his pit. Of course it doesn't work. Let's go the long way. Watered down bourbon. There's a lot of people that drink that shit. I remember there was people back in college who drink vodka and water. And they would say they would keep them hydrated and they wouldn't have hangovers. I just think they were too young to have hangovers. Oh, 
Oh, that fucking guy. I didn't know he was there. <sighs> I've seen people do that. I don't get it. I tried it once. I was like, all right. Maybe you're right. Maybe this is the key. Nah, it's not. It's just a lie. Told by... The college kids. A bunch of trolls. Alright, I'm on a revenge tour now. Everyone's getting smoked. It still tastes exactly like vodka, exactly. Which is supposed to be tasteless, but it's not. Look at that. I'm not trying that crazy ass shit until I get my soul runes back. Please, gentlemen, I don't know where I'm at. I don't know what's behind me, please. Digger's staff. Oh, straight some piece of oh, 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 oh. I do this to enough of them. Monsters look tough in here. It's because they're like part rock. They're like made of crystal or something. So they don't get knocked around. Uh, when they don't get knocked around, their moves don't stop. Uh, so you just have to hope you beat them faster than the moves got. Or you can just dodge and play around, but you know. It's just so much better to just kill them first. So I got at least one area we're gonna have to go back and check out, but for now we'll just keep heading down. Oh, two areas. Might as well check that out, honestly. Oh no. Sam brings stone too. I've got a lot of runes to tr fuck this up. Okay, here's one. scared that somehow I was going to push myself backwards. Whew. So. 
and that beam that I missed at the beginning, I'll just do that at the end in case I die. Okay. Nothing down there. Okay, good. What is that? That's the boss. I just don't know what it is. the lift Ooh. he started to get that off whoa oh no 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 I didn't realize he was about to start spazzing out Smithing stones galore down here, though. Holy. Oh, shit. Bippity boppity boo. I'm gonna roll away from you. these things <laughs> they're rough crystal knife that's a fair amount of damage for a knife I mean oh they, they started to spear I was like I kind of want to uh, save that that's a good thumbnail right there three or four arrows sticking out of my head I may have got one or two. Just a lot of fucking... Hidden path, try down. Oh, wait, is there actually a hidden path? Kinda, can't tell. Guy. Why is he scurrying?
I was hoping I could get a mid run there. What's he doing back there? He's gotta come this way, right? Cheers. Shatter Earth. Huh. Huh. Let's do that. Oh, look at that. There's another secret path. Somber Stone 3, though, that's pretty good. He's not letting me get my hit off. I guess it doesn't matter. So we're just whooping so much. But it took us. It started off not doing a lot of damage, but then. We just gotta go across the beam at the top and get what's over there. This is an interesting area. I'm glad this was here. I thought I just walked off and raced to my branch. Have I been to that top spot? I didn't on this one. How are you alive? I definitely killed all of you. But I'll collect more runes, why not?
So many liars on the secret passages. I don't know if I ever found the one that goes to. If I did, I just didn't take it. Okay, then I definitely did. I just didn't take it. <gasps> no, 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 no! <laughs> I pressed B so I could do a little bit of a sprint jump, get a little more distance, and then I did the hop back. I always forget about the hop back because I never do it. I never hop back on purpose. It is purely an accident. This is not an acceptable amount of souls or uh, runes to lose either. God damn it. Cool. I had some doubts about making that one. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Cost me a twig. I think we can uh, 
safe to check out the rest of this area. Maybe you can make it back to that big blacksmith guy. Okay. Well, they said light it on fire. It seemed sensible at the time. Okay, I'll go this way first. I think I can pretty much clear the whole swamp. Kind of. Major portions of it around the castle and south are pretty much cleared. Am I sure I missed some things? Oh, hell yeah. This is way too much and way too big of an area. Sir, if you could please slow down. Run a little too fast. Wow, there's another grace right behind the dragon. One on each side. It's interesting. Also makes me wonder like what's around that makes that grace worth it Check it out.
Don't like that. I didn't think he was just going to, boom, beam my whole health bar. Lesson learned, do not let them cast a spell. Okay, so this does not sound good. Key ahead, okay. Don't expect love, but there's nothing going on here. First off, skinny sort, but why is it something incredible? Sword stone key, okay. If I don't have to use another swordstone key, that's really nice that I'm replenishing one. Like a lot of places that you have to use it, there is another swordstone key inside. Um, I don't think all of them, but I've seen a few. I should have shot one with a bow from a distance and drew him out. I thought maybe I'd be able to stun lock him like I was the others. That guy was having none of my shit. Pulled out a fucking arcane hammer like a uh, Margit and just showed me the business.
I honestly forgot that guy was there. Uh, that could have been bad. Since the other one hit me just once and killed me. Okay, not as invincible as I thought right there. He's like a Margit. I mean, he's got the staff and the club. Jesus. I want none of whatever he's got going on now. I felt like a bold maneuver to go out there, but yeah. To and now there's a boss. Well, I'm glad I went uh, smart mode on them. I saw a player just running around up there. How did they get up there? I don't get up there. There are hidden rock walls. That's craziness. Okay. Oh. Crystal staff. It's probably solid for wizards. Mixed messages.
Oh my god, please stop. Jesus. They just keep coming. Susan, thank you very much for the like. This little fucking kangaroo dude with a spear. Annoying? But hilarious. All he does is that little hop, stab, hop, stab, hop, stab, hop, stab. It's hilarious. It's kind of pathetic. But uh, he also fucked me up bad, so. I honestly don't care to fight them. I need to get my runes back. So I'm just gonna rush to the boss, I think. Answer. going well. Oh, he might be stuck. Opportunity. Alright, Kangaroo Jack, just chill out. Just stab and have an ass. Oh. Seems like this is going to be the long play, but... I thought I'd at least be given a second. Look at him just stabbing away. I'm busy.
just do that? You know, I'm not even gonna play around with your ass. Okay. Maybe I'll just use the auto aim. Smack the shit out of him after all that. Crystal release, nice. I've seen others using that. Take me to the Hall of Wizards, perhaps. A secret pathway in, perhaps. Interesting. Cheers. Terra Mechica. So this is like a fucking sorcerer's wet dream coming through here, huh? Well, I'm going to check out the rest of this a little bit quick. I know the dragon was here, but I don't know if I checked that over here. Um, then I'll spawn back here, check out what's left of this area that I haven't. And then we'll move through the rest of the town up into, well, where I'm at right now. Maybe even check out all this shit up here quick. This looks like a long path to something. Oh, before I forget, I should probably upgrade my uh, Moon Veil. So I'll forget tomorrow. Yeah, I do hella damage now. <sighs> that feels awesome. Cool to find this blacksmith who uh, 
It's just an absolute legend in his own right. Oh, maybe I have been in this island and done all this. Interesting. Yeah, this is where the teleporting one was. Okay. Might go a few more minutes here and just clear out the rest of this area then, since I hadn't done that. Pretty open area, I'll be able to see most of what I'm looking for. It's really along this line that I should really be going. I love that dragging it across the water. Just the tip of the water. Head classic. It does seem like there'd be a secret in here somewhere, right? Like, what's this little cul-de-sac here for no reason? No, no reason. Looks like this guy was finding <laughs> looking for a secret passage as well.
That was just silly. Didn't look like much out there, but hard to tell. Getting a lot of sword stone keys, which is real good. Yeah, that was creepy. I was surprised this was out here. Don't think I'm gonna find much new, but uh, it's gonna take a quick pass over. Plus, you never know, some enemies appear just by you being in the area. So you gotta make sure there's no, like, ambush bosses that were gonna pop up around you. You don't wanna skip any bosses. This is the one that teleported me all the way up. Yep. Finger crones up there. Yeah, I've dealt with it before. Okay, so the town is pretty much good. I've been through all of this crap. Looks like this is going to be a huge portion I'm going to have to go through. All this connecting up to here. All this. Still got to do this whole side. And the castle in between. So. I got 12 minutes. I'm just going to go an extra half an hour here. Why not? Check out this island quick. And uh, the rest of the swamp. Well, I just I don't have to worry about it or try to remember tomorrow what part of the swamp I still got to do. Give me one minute I'll be right back.
can just settle in here. Been a slow second half to the stream. Oh, whoops, what is happening? Just do a pass around the island. I feel like uh, the rock sides are gonna be something good to check out. Oh, I'm sorry, Thor, I'm sorry. Sorcerer's Isle. There is just a lot for sorcerers at this point in the game. I don't know if I missed anything on the under end of the island now. So I just want to check it out quick. Looks as though I did not. Okay. So yeah, like a long key. Those will be my first four spots tomorrow. Go along the walls. I guarantee you there's something around there. I'd put my bottom dollar on it. Just want to make sure I have the right uh, equipment on now.
Ah, there we go. Still no beast. Two layer head messages, the exact same. Where's this third wild beast? Oh, I'm dead. <sighs> the horse is a little tricksy sometimes. It gets you. Oh, God. Just saw uh, that I'm in a hockey fantasy league. 22 and 1. I lost one game and it was the first game. 23 and 1, sorry. Because I won the last one. Um, just fucking crushed it all year long. And my best player, who's the number one ranked player in the league, which is probably why I'm winning, um, just says that he went out. Oh, the runes are up top. Okay. Uh, so I really hope he comes back. I have a first week's buy right now, so. Not too worried about it. Because uh, the playoffs did just start. It was fantastic. Uh, I was pretty much the highest points, or highest wins player by far in our league. Uh, but there was other people who would score more goals than me. So while they were crushing it in goals, which decides what ranking you're actually in, I was actually winning. So every time we played each other, I won. But doesn't mean it didn't suck having to play catch up the whole time. And I did, but I won in the final week. So it's all cool.
That's a sneaky ass turtle. Another one. This is leading me to here, but then this one's leading me up to here. That's alright. So I'll check out those areas tomorrow. Finish off the water areas. I should probably take it all the way up there, and then we'll move on. Uh, Raya, Yama, whatever castle. The map is massive. Originally, all you see is this. Well, this isn't that big. It's a pretty big area, but still not that big. Nothing in the south I didn't do. Bunch here in the west. These four things. I'm not sure if there's actually anything in these two spots or not. I think it's just, oh, it's the underside. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't think I missed anything. <laughs> There's so much to see yet. So much to do. Awesome. Well, anyway, it was a fantastic stream. Um, thanks, everyone, for hanging out. Thanks for doing your thing. Um, supporting in whichever way you do. 64, not bad. Moving on up. Um, thanks for dropping your likes, your shares, your comments, your stars. Uh, for following, if you're new, even after the stream, appreciate you. If you're over there on YouTube, thank you for subbing and liking. Um, appreciate all of you guys. Thank you, William, for the share and the like. Brian, thank you for the like and chatting along. Jesse, thank you for the like. Okay, thank you for the like and chatting. Tyler, thank you for the like. Mike, thanks for chatting the like and the 500 stars. Huge shout out to Mike. Thank you. It's absolutely awesome. Um, Kayla, thank you for the like. Sam, thank you for the share. William, thank you for the like, and LaVon and Susan, thank you for the like as well. Appreciate all you guys. William, thanks for chatting along as well. Uh, we had a lot of chatting going on tonight, and that was awesome. Absolutely loved it. Probably the most chatting I've had on this game uh, this week at least, um, which I, I prefer being able to chat the whole time. So anybody who wants to stop in and talk, please do. Uh, our question tonight was, what is this? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> Jupiter's great red spot is about the size of the United States, Texas, Earth, or the moon. So you got a varying sizes. You've got a United States, which is a bulk of a continent. Texas, which is a massive chunk of land. The moon, which is, you know, what is that? The one-fifth, one-tenth of the Earth. I don't know how big it is compared to the Earth. And then the Earth itself. So Jupiter uh, is the biggest planet in the solar system. So you've got to cons um, assume that we pale in size compared to it. Um, so I got it right with my first guess. My first guess was actually uh, Earth, which is correct. Uh, so if you got that, congratulations. Again, I can't see percentages at all. I don't know if that's just how it is now. Seems wonky. Anyway. Uh, so sorry if I just blurted the answer there on YouTube. Pause the video uh, whenever I say the trivia and the answers. If you're over there on YouTube, it's the best way to do it. Uh, so yeah, we'll be back on tomorrow, 6 to 9 Central Standard Time. We'll be doing more of this, finishing off the rest of the swamp here. 
Um, do the castle in the center. Maybe. I mean, we'll start the castle, and if it's proving to be difficult like Stormvale was, we'll go back out. We'll do that strip along the left and try to do underneath and above that giant uh, plateau over there where uh, there's some kind of big pavilion-looking building, I don't know, up there. So probably that's going to be the rest of the week is the castle and that strip on the left, the strip on the right, that big plateau up top. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish that and two more days of streaming, so we'll see. This game is a long one just for one playthrough. I'm seeing people post out there. They've done like three and 100% of all the achievements. Craziness. So anyway, I'm loving it. Going to keep running with it. We'll be back on tomorrow, 69 Central Standard Time. Don't miss it. See you later and have a good night. Stay fresh, cheese bags.